Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob from Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today I have a very special unboxing, something really big right here that has come in that I wanted to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and take a look. This I'm opening today with my Rick Hender XM18 three and a half inch one. This is in the JG10 scales with S45VN blade steel. So let's see what this is. All right, where's my label? Let me get that label nice and close here. All right, you can see that this is from Nalapak. And it looks like it's a Pelican case. So let's take a look. Ah, it looks like a bolt case. There we go. So, this is, oh, We'll have to edit that out, but this is a vault case right here. It has place for knives. So there we go. This is a 40 case. Now I have another one, so I needed a second one to add a few more knives to. <coughs> and I have a few over here that I wanted to add. So let me go ahead and bring them over while we're at it. So we can put some of these guys in right away. Some of these are a little bigger than others, but we'll see how they go. And I think I have some up here as well. I've been trying to diversify them all over the place. So I can bring these guys back into the collection so I have better access to them. I can get to them more easily. When I put them up here, it's sometimes hard to remember that they're up there. Now for some of these guys that are a little shorter, I am going to a little pad in there to give them some room. All right. So we'll get those in there. And then let's see here. Don't I have some over here? Yeah, I do. I'm going to grab these as well. My lander. I've got some we over here, my we banter. Probably put that over there. Maybe I'll move the banter over here next to the banter and the baby banter. We'll put these guys over there. Let's see, does this close all the way? Yeah, there we go. So this is the Volt, uh, does it say on here? It's the 200, V200 I believe. Shouldn't it say on here somewhere? It's a Pelican, it's a Volt case. I think it's the V, yeah, there it is, V200. So I have a V300, and this is a V200. It's really nice. It keeps your knives pretty secure, as you can see. And here, I'll bring my other one over here. Compare the two. This one is, you know, a little smaller, but it does carry 440. My bigger one here, this is the V300. Make sure I don't hit everything. There we go. And so this one, this one has some of the bigger knives, right? You know, everything from the Urban EDC, Custom LC, uh, LC and Custom Olamic, Mannix, Spyderco, to my MSI. All right, so this is, this is the other one. This is where the, the hinder one goes, right in here. So if you can see that. My hander goes right here. But this allows me to have a little more room for some of my extra knives because I was running out of room. And uh, I was debating whether which ones I'm going to keep and which one I'm going to save. But I, there's a lot of them I, I do want to keep and I don't want to get rid of. So oh, I love that Evo Typhoon. Look at that action. It's just beautiful. Look at that. This drops so nicely. And of course, then you got the Chavez. Sorry. <laughs> it's always fun to get into the knives. I like to handle them all when I have these. But as you can see, uh, where is it? Yeah, here's, this is a little one and I put a little pad in there and it allows it to be easier to access. So when I do that, I have a little room for it. I have another one over here. Where is it? Where'd it go? 
Oh, not this, this one here, yeah. This is a little smaller, too. This is the uh, Urban EDC LC. It's a production version. Trevor Burger. Very similar to the Custom, but production version. And I like this one a lot, too. So it got me interested in the Custom version. So there you go. So it's just a quick little video on a new case. So this is the 200, or 300. Oops, I'm hitting, hitting another camera because this is pretty big. So, and then compare that. Well, actually, let's... I'll put this one on top of the other one so you can see the difference. So, if you can see that. So, the other case is definitely larger. I don't know if you can see that over here on the side. Get a little better view. So, it's definitely larger this way. And then, it's definitely going up to the front. Definitely larger that way. But, the difference is... This one is a little tighter as far as the knives goes. So it can fit some of the smaller knives now. This is a little bigger here. This is my Tuya Knives uh, Hive version 3. I like this one with a full hollow grind. This is a guy from Bade Modern Designs who made that one. Really nice knife. But I need to put a little pads in here for these guys so I can get better access to these. My little, like my mini penguin, and then my baby. Oh, see, it's going to be kind of hard to get into these. Yeah, I definitely need to put some pads in there because I'm having a hard time just reaching in there to get these guys right now. I might, I might even, yeah, I might need to fix that pretty quick. Ooh, we're going to get it out. I might have to flip this upside down. Can I get, can I get a grip? <clears throat> okay, let's do it again. There we go. All right. So, I have some padding. Let me see if I have some more of it over here. I had an old foam box that I used. My other Vault 300 case, I didn't buy the Nalpak insert. I, I uh, bought it aftermarket and inserted into the Vault 300. The other one I bought from, directly from Nalpak, and I was able to, to use that right away. So, let me put that in here like this. See, it's a little easier to get to. And I'd use something a little shorter like this one for this one. And you can get to that one. That'll be nice. And over here for my Penguin Mini, I put that in here. Be easier to get to that one. There we go. And then for my Mini Keen, I put that one in. So it's easier to get to that. Now I've got to get another couple of pieces for these guys. This one I can relatively get. It'll be a little tight, but I can get to this one as well. Might put a little piece in for that one. So there we go. And what I do is I'll show you the foam that I have left over from the other case. We're going to find my foam where I put it. Well, I thought it was over here somewhere. Where did I put it? Probably edited that so I can get back to you. But this is the foam that I have, and I would probably try to figure out what the piece would be here. So, like about that size. So, I'm looking for about that width. So, I'll cut that. And then to fit it in there, I'll probably add a little bit of weight like that. There we go, easier to get to. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll do that. And that'll be easier to get to. That one I might need to make a little bit deeper, or a little bigger piece. This one's kind of hard to get to, so I think I'm going to put a little piece in this one. Yeah, 
that's better. I'll just add a piece to this one over here. There we go. And I might add it to this one over here. Small piece. There we go. So now they're all easy to get to, including my limited edition pyrite in S35 BN steel. So there we go. Now I have more room for more knives, right? At least for another 22 knives, for sure, minimally. I do think I need to bring one over from the other case, though, for something coming in down the road here. So I'll probably bring, <coughs> excuse me, over the other Bade Modern designs. So the guy who designed this one, uh, you can see the little emblem right there. It's the same guy who designed uh, this one right here. So you can see that same design. I forget his name, but he's the guy who designed this. So I could just move a lot of these over. So anyways, there you go. That is, that is the knives right there. I think I'm going to move that one over there. Leave that one there. Move that one there. Move this one over here. How about we put this one right next to it? There we go. Like that. Yeah. Nice. I'm going to just stick that in here for now so I can use it in the future. But I thought I'd share that with you. Kind of cool. I get that from Nalpak. I'll put the link down below in the description if you have any questions about it. If you're ever looking for a case, the smaller one's a little less expensive. It's a smaller fit for the knives. So if you have like some mega knives, you might not want that. You might want to get the bigger one because that one is... Uh, it's only, it only houses 36 knives on the V300, the bigger case, but that's because it's made for bigger knives. And I don't have gargantuan knives. I don't, I don't go for the big giant knives. I mean, this is a pretty, pretty tall one right here. And uh, my MSI, that's a pretty big one, a couple other ones over there. And that's why I keep it in that case, because that definitely has more room. This one's pretty big too. As you can see, it's an OTF. So, but this one still fits. It allows for, you can see this up here is room. It's padded on top. This is padded right here. So when it comes down, it closes, just push that down and it locks in place. So there you go. That is the Vault V200 case. Bought it directly through Nalpak with the Nalpak um, inserts. So it is sealed, if you see that. This right here, I don't know if you can see that right here. These these are, are, are seals for waterproofing or water resistance. I don't know if it can go in the water. Some Pelican cases can go be submerged. I don't know about this one. But it does have an air valve seal. So like if you're on an airplane and it decompresses because of the air pressure, you can release this to open it to let the pressure back in and then open it up. So it does keep that. So that's nice. But I do like that. So now you have a couple of places to look for knives. I think that's really cool. And get to my lander. This is the this is the uh, um, Urban EDC M390 blade steel on the Smoky Mountain Knife Works carbon fiber scales. I decided to mix the two because I really like how these scales look on on this particular knife. Just such a nice knife like this. And then the Smoky, Smoky Mountain Knife Works lander. I went ahead and put these unlock composite scales on there. So that's really nice. That's always the fun thing about going through cases. You can review all of your knives and kind of enjoy that. So there you go. Yep. There you go. So let me know what y'all think. If you have any questions about it, let me know. I don't have any partnerships with Nalpak at this point, so there's no discounts to be able to be offered, but I just thought I'd share this with you guys and see if you guys like any of these. If you're looking for a case or something that's a little bit better for your stuff, you might want to check these out, the vault. Kind of a nice little thing to add. Um, so, hey, thanks so much for watching today. Hey, if you found this content interesting, informative, fun, worthwhile, or entertaining, would you please consider hitting the like button down below? And if you've hit that like button already, maybe consider hitting the subscribe button. Subscribing and liking the videos really helps out the channel, allows me to produce more content, do more things. I very much appreciate that so much. So thank you. And members, if you want to become a member, please feel free to join and sign up for the membership. It's not required, but I would love for you to be a member. That really helps the channel out a lot as well. 
thank you to you guys. And if you've done all that, maybe hit the notification button so you can be notified of future content. And also check me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Hey, thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.